Hi there. This is going to be an unboxing video of the Superboard 3 computer by Brielle Computers. Just uh, first a little background. The original computer that this is based on was the Ohio Scientific Superboard 2. The original Superboard 2 was one of the first affordable computers that featured a full keyboard, video output, and basic in ROM. It sold for a price of $279 in 1979 which was a pretty amazing bargain at the time when you figure that computers like the Apple II at the time were retailing for about a thousand dollars more than that. For that price you got an assembled circuit board but you need to add a 5 volt power supply and a monitor or a TV set and RF modulator and a cassette tape if you wanted uh, backup storage. I actually own one that I purchased in 1979 and it was my first computer. I learned a lot about BASIC and 6502 machine language programming with it. The Superboard 3 is Vince Braille's replica of the original Superboard 2. Uh, like the original, it has a 6502 processor, but it simplifies the design a lot by replacing the, um, a lot of the discrete logic chips with a propeller CPU. Uh, so as such, it's software compatible with the original system, but it's not electrically identical. So he sells this either as an assembled board or as a kit, and I opted to go for the kit. I actually ordered this back around August 2014 and only received it now uh, in January 2015. I'm not sure the reasons for the delay. There were some uh, component issues, but i um, not sure what all the reasons for the delay were. Uh, at least one customer reported receiving only a partial kit. So I'm not actually sure exactly what we're going to see when we open the package. I haven't opened it before. Uh, so we'll open it up and take a look and see what we've got. So let's open it up. So we've got the circuit board that, like the original, was quite a large circuit board that had, as well as all the circuitry, had the keyboard on it. So this is not as big as the original, but still quite large. Uh, so as you can see here, I can see the location for all the keys, as well as the chips, uh, 6502 processor, the propeller CPU. Uh, serial interface, uh, static RAM, uh, and some individual logic chips, video output, power, and so on. So it looks like quite a nice um, silk screen, solder mask board, kind of an interesting blue solder mask. So that's probably the most important part of the board. And let's see what else we've got. I'm using a uh, grounded static mat here in case we've got any static sensitive components. So there's the CD that will have the uh, software and assembly manual. This was actually available for download on his website, so I've taken a look at that earlier. Might be a slightly newer version. So we've got some uh, IC sockets. Look like they're the, uh, the larger ones, nice machine type of sockets and some of the large chips here. So I see the, uh, the 6502, it's the uh, CMOS version, the 65CO2. Uh, looks like we've got a static RAM, we've got the propeller CPU, and the uh, 6850 uh, UART or serial chip. So those are the bigger chips. And here we can see the, uh, the actual keyboard switches, less the keycaps, are going to be installed here. So it's a pretty much complete keyboard. I don't think there's quite 101 keys like on the PC keyboards, but most of the standard keys. And here we've got the actual keycaps that snap into the keyboard, including the spacebar. Uh, this, I believe, is something that was actually custom made for Vince Briel for the keycaps specific to this board. Some of the keys were uh, a little bit unusual. There's a break key, 
a repeat key for example, so this looks quite nice, even the space bar. So more of the ICs here, the, uh, the smaller dip package ICs, uh, 7400 series and things like that, so that's the rest of those. No surface mount parts, it's all a through hole design, so soldering should be pretty easy. So looking here, see uh, resistors, uh, looks like voltage regulators, some of the caps, connectors for things like the video, crystal, more caps, resistors, a few more IC sockets. Um, this, I think, is another voltage regulator. And then a small module here, which I believe is a USB to serial interface, which is the uh, replaces the serial port from the original design with a uh, more commonly available USB to serial. So it looks like here everything here is pretty complete. Next step would be to uh, take a look at the manual on the CD and do an inventory of parts and then start putting the system together. So I hope to cover that in some of the recent videos. So all in all it looks like it's complete. Uh, all the parts probably there, even uh, diodes, connectors. So it uh, looks like we're ready to start putting things together shortly.